Joe Buchanan, I see you. Uh, Providence Student Union, Arise. Progreso Latino, right? They're organizations, youth-led organizations that are focused on education advocacy. Youth knows what they need. We can't wait eight years. A, a lot of these pipeline program plans, like, we, we need to do them, but we can't wait eight years to help our kids. We have an education funding formula that is inequitable. The notion that a constitutional amendment should be needed, that we should have to sue the state for them to do what's right, is crazy. It's crazy. Our education funding formula concentrates poverty. It qualifies it simply as if you have free or discounted lunch. The state barely puts anything in the pot, and cities and towns can withhold money when they want to. That's the difference between the east side of Cranston and the west side. We need to change the education funding formula. We need to remove the barriers to teachers of color coming from other states. We got teachers that are starting at a higher step level when they're coming here and they have to drop down. You think they're gonna come here? It isn't just a matter of pay. We as Democrats need to acknowledge that we can be pro-labor movement and still get teachers out of our school systems that have used racial slurs against our students. If we do not make these changes and push for them, you can have all the endorsements you want, but nothing is gonna change for our communities. That's how we change education, that's how we improve literacy rates, and we do so also through a comprehensive after-school program that gives more money to the organizations doing the work. We need to connect the dots. Not a new after-school program, but an after-school program that gives money to Arise, gives it to Providence Student Union, to Progreso Latino. Not the big ones that have millions, the small ones. Connect them, and Nick Brown, house these programs. Make ground that doesn't pay taxes do more. I'm sick of continuing to look away from a colonizing institution that has hurt our communities more than it's helped it. I'm running for governor for a lot of reasons. We need the courage to do these things. It's not just talk. Thank you.